In this video, I'm going to go over the process of exporting out textures for UE4. So I'm going to go to File, Export Textures, and in the Configuration tab, you can see that there is a preset for Unreal 4 Engine Packed. Um, it's not exactly the way I want it, so I'm going to create my own. So I'm going to click on this plus button up here, and I have this new preset, which I will right-click, rename, and call that UE4 underscore packed. So the first texture I want to export is my base color and that is an RGB color so I'll click RGB and over here under input maps I'll grab the base color and drag that onto RGB and choose RGB channels. Then I am going to name it T for texture underscore dollar sign texture set underscore base color, BC for base color. So this will name my texture T underscore texture set, which is Kopesh, so it'll be T underscore Kopesh underscore base color. And that will be easily um, to identify in Unreal as a texture and that it's my base color. Then the next texture I want is my normal map, which is also an RGB image. So I'll choose RGB, come over here to normal direct X and drag that onto RGB and choose RGB channels and same thing T underscore dollar sign texture set underscore N for normal. Now the next texture I want to create is a packed texture that has the metallic roughness and ambient occlusion packed into one texture. So for that I will choose the R plus G plus B and I will come over here to metallic and put that on the R channel and choose gray channel and then roughness I'll put on the G channel and ambient occlusion I'll put on the B channel. And then T underscore dollar sign texture set underscore MRA for metallic roughness ambient occlusion. And I now have my um, textures export all set up. I can then go to the export tab, make sure that I choose the UE4 packed preset that I just created. I want to say where I want to save it. In my case I have a, I created a 2UE4 folder within my Maya project directory so I'll select that. I want to set the texture type to Targa. Double check that is the correct size which I do want at 2048 by 2048. And if I click on this little drop down, I can see how my uh, textures are named to make sure that they're named correctly. Then I can just click export and I can either choose OK or open folder. If I open folder, you can see that I now have the T underscore um, base color T underscore metallic roughness ambient occlusion and T underscore Kopesh underscore normal. So those are now all set and ready to import into Unreal 4.